sixth form after uh, going to Commonwealth Secondary School for five years. Really enjoyed my experience there, really came out of my shell, had a great time, made some great friends, had great teaching, great support. I went to Lethbridge Primary School, which is just down the road. Robert Le King Primary School. I was ready to move on, really. Being in year six, everyone looks up to you. I was quite scared. It was a huge school, there was a lot of people. And then you come into uh, secondary school and you're suddenly right at the bottom again. My main worry was getting lost and getting not getting to lessons on time because I was really scared about getting told off. Very nervous and very scared. Different teachers for different subjects and you've never had that before. Coming up I didn't really know what to expect. I just saw these year 11s, they're big scary people. You will sort of look up to the year 11s and you sort of see them as a bit scary really but you find out after a couple of weeks they're not actually as bad as you might think. After a few weeks um, you really settle in, you get used to it, you know your teachers, you know your peer educators. Well, there's four houses, there's Whitehorse, Ridgeway, Sarum and Stonehenge and that almost becomes like your little community, like a little family if you like. So you meet with your tutor uh, every morning where you get given all the information for the day. Um, any information about the school from the school bulletin. You get ready for your day. I always used to check my planner like three times to make sure I had the right books and stuff. Helping you all the way through from year seven right up to, uh, to the end of year 11. I think my time at Commonwealth has really been influenced massively through the school trips that I've done. A, a French student living with you, coming to your lessons, experience what school is like in the UK. Like going to the beach, going to Legoland, the Spain, the PE trip in Year 9, I just loved that trip and I think everybody loved that trip. The Somme, the Battlefields trip in Year 10, gain more knowledge about the subject that you're doing but on trips you just really come together. As well as make really good friends. And also with your teachers, you get to know them a lot better um, and just the whole experience and you create memories that will sort of, this sounds really cheesy, that will last forever really. Get involved in trips um, if you can. Because you know in year 10 you start your GCSEs and everything and it starts to get a bit more serious. The amount of homework increased quite a lot, especially during GCSEs. I've been quite an organised person and so that really helped me. But just speaking to your teachers, not being afraid to say actually I don't really get this. If you are independent um, and you've got a lot more homework, so you've got to juggle it and it's just being, I just say try and be as organised as you can be. You yourself have to be independent, you have to make sure you write the homework down, you have to make sure you write down the right date to give it in, and you've got the right books and you've got the right, and you've done the right homework so it can be quite confusing. Conwell is a performing arts school so we perform lots of different events throughout the year. You have the, the school assemblies where you have people performing in those as well as lunchtime performances, the carols in the gym and Christmas services at the local church. The Little Big Festival that takes part in the summer where a load of different Conwheel talent get to take part in the Old Town Gardens in loads of different activities whether it be singing or dancing or putting on performances and plays and myself I've participated in a number of those different events with the band that I formed with some friends in year seven that's still going on assemblies in front of our peers uh, and at lunchtime in front of the whole school which is well you get to see all the different talent that Conwheel really has to offer um, and it's a chance for people that might not think they're good at anything to sort of express themselves because I felt that it would be the best chance for me to study uh, further education. I knew the teachers here would give me the same level of support and encouragement they've given me. And it just seemed like the best place to be in sick form. The atmosphere that Commonwealth has. It was a chance for me to carry on with my friends, the same friends I met on the very first day in Year 7. I'm glad I made that decision to carry on at sick form because I've absolutely loved being at Commonwealth. Ask questions when you get that and try not to worry as much because it really isn't as bad as you think it's going to be. It's going to be great.